Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create the same vertical rectangular cut through all characters and space it equally. First open a new document, then select the type tool, click on it, hold and choose the vertical type tool. Now click on the artboard and type your text. This works best with bold fonts. Let's resize it. In order to cut through text, we need to convert it into shapes. First make sure your text is selected, then go to Object and choose Expand. Make sure the Object and the Fill are checked and click OK. Now either right click with your mouse and choose Ungroup or go to Object and choose Ungroup. Next select everything, open the Align window if you don't see it, go to Window and select Align. Make sure Align to Selection is checked and choose Horizontal Align Left. Next, either press the Shift and E keys on your keyboard for the Eraser tool or select it from the Toolbar panel. Now a very important part. Before you do anything, first press and hold down the Alt key then click above the tab letter hold and drag all the way down to form a long and narrow rectangle. When you are happy with the look, first release the mouse and then release the key. I'm going to make another cut right next to the existing one, but this one will be much narrower. You can notice we've got three separate parts of each character. Before we go to the next step, we need to make sure they are all grouped together. Using the Selection tool, select all the parts of the letter R, then go to Object and choose Group. And let's do the same with the other letters. Select the letter E, right click with your mouse and choose Group. And select the last letter and press the Ctrl and G keys on your keyboard to group it together. Let's place them in the horizontal position, select everything, resize if needed, choose a vertical align button and horizontal distribute space. Now let's align it to the artboard. With all the letters still selected, right click with your mouse and choose group. Then make sure align to artboard is checked and choose Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Finally, if you would like, you can change the fill to a different color and add a background to it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.